The world's largest iceberg just north of Antarctica has become a fascinating anomaly. Here's CTV's Sarah Plowman. In a dance with nature, the world's largest iceberg is spinning. A chunk of ice about two-thirds the size of Prince Edward Island trapped in a slow twirl off Antarctica, as it's been for months. It's, it's got stuck in this kind of stagnant column of water, which we, we call a Taylor column. Um, and it's just very gently rotating there. It split from the southernmost continent nearly 40 years ago, got stuck on a seabed for decades and began moving again. But instead of drifting north and melting like icebergs typically do, lately it's only been turning about 15 degrees each day. And what we really don't understand is how long it's going get, to get stuck there. Below the iceberg sit underwater mountains. As the earth rotates, currents move around the seamount, and that phenomenon extends to the surface. And so that means, in fact, the water on top of that seamount is isolated from the rest of the world ocean. Uh, and this iceberg has got stuck in that thing, and it's just going to sit there and bend for, uh, for a very long time. Onlookers are in awe of its size and also its height about 400 meters tall. If you look at the CN Tower, that's about how high the observation deck is. Curious to see, much like its journey. It got beached when no one expected it to get beached, and then it broke free, and now it's stuck in this funny little vortex that no one expected. A slow spin, catching the world's attention. Sarah Plowman, CTV News, Fredericton.